Strugglers, today we are continuing our tour of things across North Dakota that I think are freaking awesome. It's become kind of a series and I will not rest until the world knows how cool this state actually is. In my video about serial adventure, I said, I don't know what it is about things being oversized like that, but I get a kick out of it. Big cow, big old buffalo, they always bring me great joy. Big stuff is just cool. It's big and it's not really supposed to be. That's fun. <laughs> so with that in mind, I wanna tell y'all about what I think is my favorite North Dakota attraction, the Enchanted Highway. The Enchanted Highway is a stretch of road out in Western North Dakota with these giant scrap metal sculptures built along it. The story goes that the tiny little town at the end of the highway called Regent was slowly dying. People were moving away and nobody was moving in because it's a tiny little town in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota, a tale as old as time. So a local teacher had the idea to build these giant statues in order to like bring tourists through the area and get people interested in the town. Gary Greff, a teacher by profession, was inspired to build the Enchanted Highway in part to save the town of Regent and by extension its high school where he was a member of the class of 1967. It didn't work, the school closed. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't go back in time to help save the school as much as I would like to, but I can sure as heck bring the strugglers along with me on a little road trip to go check out what Gary Greff put together in Western North Dakota. Let's go check it out. So for breakfast this morning, I ate a fat, greasy double cheeseburger. I'm not making good decisions already today. This is also the first kind of like any trip, anytime leaving the house for an extended period of time that I've done since Corbin was born. Let's see how this goes. Um, I, I may get a little homesick. It's gonna be worth it because this is the coolest freaking thing you'll ever see. All right, let's do it. I live on the far eastern side of the state, so about as far away as you can get from the Enchanted Highway. But that's actually a bit of a blessing in this case because there's a couple of things along the way that I would like to show you as well. My first stop of the day was in Jamestown, North Dakota. There it is. There she be. Look at the beauty over the horizon all oh, the glory and the wonder when you get to jamestown you can pull through this little area called frontier village it's a neat old-timey replica of what the town would have looked like back in the day it's like a smaller version of bonanzaville which i showed off in my kid nation video <laughs> seeing all these old buildings is really neat like the dentist and the old post office and stuff like that but that's not what we're here for all right we are here to see the big boy just down this short little walking path sits dakota thunder a six ton buffalo Good grief, look at this big hairy fella. So when I got up to the buffalo, there was a retired couple there taking photos and the wife saw me recording video and asked, oh, would you like me to go stand next to the buffalo so you can get the scale of it on your camera? <laughs> so here you go. That's how the buffalo compares to a sweet little Midwestern lady. <laughs> I spent a little while hanging out with Old Thunder. It's pretty nice just kind of being up on this hill. It overlooks some pastures and like the interstate. It's just got a good vibe to it. It's a nice place to chill out for a little bit. And oh boy, did I chill out. It was the chillest I've been in a very long time, but I still had quite a long drive ahead of me before I even got to the start of the Enchanted Highway. So eventually it was time to pack up and hit the road again. That was genuinely so much fun. <laughs> you guys, you gotta start stopping. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? We just like are coasting through life. We, who am I Maybe you're not. I feel like I spent so many years just kind of like, you know, going through the motions, flying through it. Sometimes you gotta stop at the world's largest buffalo statue. I realized that on my way to the next stop, I had to drive through Bismarck, North Dakota, and um, I don't know if you remember, but there is a very important thing in Bismarck that I just had to stop and see. I don't know if, I don't know if maybe you can see it over there. Did you see what I just saw? <laughs> There's officially only one more space aliens left for me to visit before I've hit them all. Someday. Someday. So now there's actually only one more stop to make before we get to the Enchanted Highway. And this one, I, this is definitely one of my favorites in the whole state. In the itty bitty town of New Salem, North Dakota, there is yet another wonderful statue. Off in the distance, I mean, this one's crazy. My windshield is so full of bugs. Hopefully you can see what I'm pointing at. Oh gosh, it's focusing on the bugs. Focus on the thing. No, not on the bugs. Come on, focus on the thing in the distance. Oh, you, you absolute fool. Focus on the thing. There. There it is. That, folks, is Salem Sioux. Salem Sioux, the world's largest Holstein cow overlooking the world from her little mountain. I cannot put into words just how massive this thing is. There's this sense of awe that comes over me driving up this, this hill. Look at this. I mean, it's almost shocking. Look at that. Sioux 
Why are you looking at me like that? Salem Sioux is a guilty pleasure of mine. I pretty much never drive past this area without stopping here. Jaden and I have visited Sioux many times together. It's one of our go-to spots. I was trying to recreate the shot from Joel Haver's video. I'm just trying to do it from memory. Not sure if I nailed it or not. Fun fact, Joel stopped at this after uh, he came to visit me. Hey Joel, hope you're doing well, buddy. A few years ago, they randomly painted these grotesque pink veins on Sue's udders. What the hell? Why do they do this? They used to just be plain white. Now they're borderline offensive. <laughs> it's not even necessarily more accurate. Cows don't really have bright pink veins like that. It's just a weird, why did they, why? They did not need to do this. But I suppose they also didn't have to build a 50 foot cow on the top of a hill in the first place. So honestly, I respect it. The Reddit. I don't even know what to say. The red at sucking height, guys. They put these, they put the teeth right at sucking height. What are they doing? There's another hill up top past Sioux that you can climb when you're up there. And the view from the top is fantastic. People poke fun at the Midwest's flat landscapes for being boring, but I love it. This isn't something you get to see just anywhere you go. I think it's pretty cool. Bye Sue. It's good to see you again. Be well. Get those veins checked out, huh? Sue is a must see. If you're in the area at all, I don't know why you would be, you, you better come visit Sue. All right, let's make our way to the Enchanted Highway, baby. All right, enough goofing around. It's time for the main event. After spending many hours in the car, absolutely jamming out, crushing snacks and sucking down caffeine. Prime taste test? It's fine. I had finally made it to my destination. Get excited, guys. Off in the distance, here it is. Let's zoom out maybe, then it won't focus on the bugs. This is ridiculous. Windshield's a tad dirty. I do believe I eventually get a shot of it. There you go, perfect. This is the start of a beautiful journey, everybody. I don't think it really translates all that well to video. Um, which is a major bummer because this is a video. But seeing this gargantuan structure from the interstate is shocking. Keep in mind we're driving around in North Dakota. Not a lot of massive structures everywhere you go. Um, initial observation, I'm the only one here. This is like the coolest thing in North Dakota and nobody's here. All right, let's go see it. So this is the first one. It's called Geese in Flight. And as you can see, there are many geese and they're all in flight. If I'm remembering correctly, this one holds a Guinness World Record for a largest scrap metal statue. Kind of a specific niche thing, but I was half expecting to see somebody back here when I looked over this thing. But that's just gnarly. I mean, I don't know if you can see, I'm, you can see me, right? I'm tiny. It's gotta be what? A thousand feet high? <laughs> <laughs> Give or take, you know, I don't know. I think that's just a really cool one to start on I think it's sick that you can see it from the interstate. That's what in initially piqued my interest I was like, what is that? Oh, it's an entire highway. There's a bunch of these things. I got to check that out All right guys, I'm hiding somewhere in the frame. Can you see me? I was behind this wall. I guess I wasn't technically in frame, that was a lie. So Geese in Flight is pretty cool. I think it gets bonus points just for being the first one and for being the absolute biggest thing I've ever seen in my gosh darn life. But if I had to rank it, I think I would give it an eight. Did this show up? Nope. Yeah, I was trying to use this feature on my camcorder that lets you draw on the screen while it's recording, but I could not get it to work for some reason. Uh, this was meant to be an eight. I saw a sign over at the other side of the parking lot and it mentioned something called the Enchanted Castle. The Enchanted Castle. We'll treat you like royalty, it says. The hotel says it has the Excalibur Steakhouse and the Medieval's Tavern. Open at 5 p.m.? Well, it's almost 5 p.m. now. I got a long way to go still. Apparently it's at the very end of the highway once you actually make it to the town of Regent. So obviously that is my destination. Now we have to get to the Enchanted Castle. Are you kidding me? That sounds stupendous. So this one is aptly named Deer Crossing. Um, once again, absolutely humongous. I do like this one. This one gives me very, uh, it's very cozy. There's nothing threatening, nothing scary about this. It was a loud truck. Everyone's so friendly, everybody's waving. I should be waving back, but this is good. It just makes me wanna leap. Oh, I feel like I could jump over the fence myself, you know? I feel like a little kid because all I wanna do is climb on these things. <laughs> Like I wanna climb up this post here. So I gave the first one an eight. This one is very neat, but I think that, that there are better to come. Honestly, I don't wanna be rude, but I think this one's maybe like a five and a half. That just shows you how good the ones that are coming up are though. So I get excited about that. The maze of enchantment built for your enjoyment. Well, heck, let's try it. Where do I enter? Oh, 
over here. I hope I don't get stuck in here for a very long time. I feel like I'm in a survivor finale, you know what I mean? Oh no, I've already, I know that this is a dead end. I'm already screwing this up. Channel your inner Tony, come on. Come on, Tony. All right, I'm hitting my stride, feeling good. That way does not look good. This is the one, we're going this way. You know, I'm actually feeling really confident that I'm gonna get this without messing up any more times. Do I look so stupid on that camera over there? Just like a tiny little floating head. The trail is more worn, yeah, in the spots that are correct, because clearly that's the wrong way to go. And this trail is much nicer. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it. What up, dear? Well, I feel accomplished. That was sick. This has no business being this enjoyable. This is so fun. Imagine bringing your little kids here, for goodness sake. Imagine bringing me here. <laughs> I'd have fun all day. This one is gross. It's called grasshoppers. And now you're, you might be thinking there's just one grasshopper. No, 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 there are many grasshoppers and I'll show you those. Real quick, I just wanna get up close and personal with this thing. I feel like I could just climb up here. Like it wouldn't be hard. Although I don't wanna break anything. Imagine if I just brought this whole thing down. Whoa, okay. This is so cool. It is um, horrifying. Grasshoppers are one of those things that I just, you know, I don't mess with those. I don't mess with grasshoppers. I saw a bug's life. Those things are mean, dude. I'm in the frame. I'm hiding. Can you see me? I'm behind the little grasshopper. That hiding spot wasn't as good as the first one. This is just a little guy. See, I could, I could squash him like a bug. Ah! Actually, no. A grasshopper, a real one this size, would destroy me. Oh, there's a little jungle gym over there. First of all, absolutely adorable. There's a little grasshopper that the kids can ride. Or me. I'm just so filled with joy today. Is this not just the neatest thing? I do get to climb on stuff. I, I know I said earlier I want to climb on stuff. Oh, I just went right through a spider web. What a gorgeous day. Man, North Dakota is just awesome. Think I can just jump down from here? It feels a lot higher than it probably looks to you. Be safe. Yeah, so I can touch this leaf. Hi -ya. Oh, pfft, too easy, come on. For an athlete like me, too easy. Rating, this is a nine. Easy, this is a hard nine. Just the fact that there's so much of it, I cannot imagine how long this must have taken. Love this one, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers is sick. My new favorite so far. All right, I thought the last one was cool. This is fucking sick. Look at how many, it's in frick, it's an aquarium. There's a man up there. There are pigeons at the top of that fish cooing so loud. We gotta give a tour. All right, tour time. This one is called Fisherman's Dream, by the way. I'm so far away, I have no idea if I'm even in frame, but this is enchanted. I mean, if I may be so bold, I feel, I feel enchanted right now. I gotta get some shots just like looking straight up at these things, man, this is nuts. I can't get over this. This is just a guy. Just some guy did this. And now I think, what am I doing with my life? I'm hiding. Do you know where I am? I'm in the boat. I could actually climb into the boat. Like I could literally climb into this. Um, I don't know if I'm feeling brave enough to do that. Oh. oh, it's not built to hold me. No, we're not gonna go in there. I just love that there's stuff to play on. Yeah, for, for the kids. Um, <clears throat> for the kids, of course. This is so sketch. Staircase is totally crooked. Oh my gosh, there's even a ladder in here. Look at this, there's a ladder. It's like, they're teasing me. They're absolutely tempting me to climb up there. I have to. I'm in the boat. Pretty cool. Fisherman's dream? More like fisherman's nightmare. More like fish. I think I may have forgotten to rate that one before I left, but 10. Absolutely 10. Oh look, it's some pheasants on the prairie. That's what this one's called, pheasants on the prairie. Here comes a sick jump. I got all kinds of stuff in my pockets. <laughs> Cleared it. Easy for an athlete like me. I think the artist was literally teasing me when he built these. He wants me to climb on it so bad. Dude, if you wanted me to climb on it, you could have just said something. <laughs> There's a couple more over there. That one kind of looks like a dodo. What do you think, huh? Dodo? I'm hiding in the frame. Can you see me? Where am I? I was lying that time. This one was pretty cool. I think it's like a six. The fact that there's five birds, pretty cool. A very respectable six. This is a solid six. There's a pheasant right there. What are the chances of that? He's in the grass. There he is, look. What are the chances of that? Literally right next to the, to the pheasant thing. 
Look at that, man. That's crazy. Teddy Roosevelt rides again. Honestly, sounds kind of scary. <laughs> rides again, that is haunted. That's a haunted thing to say. Is there someone in here? Nope. Oh, f Oh, the wood crackled and I thought it was a creature. I'm hiding, do you know where I am? I bet you have no idea, especially because my voice is super echoey, like I'm in a tiny little room. I'm in the carriage. This is a pretty cool little thing, though. Now I got a nice little window, I can look out and see my guy Teddy, the goat. <laughs> And a horse. Actually, it's a horse. This is like my sixth one that I've been to and I just now realized I could be doing vertical video to really show how big these are. I'm not very good at my job, let's be real. Yeah, what? this has got to be, I don't know, like a thousand feet. Just me and Teddy, you know, riding again. <laughs> you know us. Hey, Teddy, how's it going, man? Good to see you. This is low-key beautiful. Look at this shot. Am I a cinematographer? What the heck? I hate walking down hills. Like how uncoordinated do I look right now? <laughs> this is what I would call lumbering. I'm lumbering down this hill. Let me walk cool. <laughs> Shit. What's up? What's up? Just walking down a hill, no big deal. Just an observation that I've made. Um, a lot of cars have been driving by. Nobody's stopping. I mean, I get that you can appreciate it from the road, but you gotta get up close, man. You really gotta see it. Is it because I'm here? Am I scaring people away? That might be the case. Almost there. Almost there. I forgot to rate it again. Um, this is not in the context of art in general or how cool it would be on its own. It's in context of the rest of the, of the pieces. But you know what, I'll give it a five. I'll give it a nice, clean five right down the middle. The, I see the next one up ahead of me. This one is hilarious. Are you kidding me? The Tin family, look at them. Look at them. Oh, look at those birds. Oh my God, whoa. There are a lot of birds living in that tin family. Do I look like the fourth family member? I can't see where I'm framed up. I'm hoping that I'm right in between the dad and the son. Is, am, I, am I in between those two? I, now I'm scared to get up close and personal for scale because there's so many birds living in them. But I'm, I ain't no bitch. Okay. Yep. All right. There's birds. I'm not even scared of birds. What am I doing? This is about as close as I feel comfortable getting. I'm not in the business of getting attacked today. This is what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Good grief, and then look at mom. Look at mom. You know, this is not a family I would want to encounter. This is kind of horror, horror movie-esque. You're in the middle of nowhere, your car breaks down, which is kind of, I'm in the middle of nowhere currently. These are the people that you have to stop and ask for directions. And you, you know, you, you're, not, you're not making it home, brother. This one's the smallest. I think I could take him, honestly. It doesn't look very tough. Is there anything living in you? Hello? Oh yeah, there's a nest in there for sure. This kid looks like he's seen some stuff. I was gonna do the thing where I hide behind one of them, but I was gonna pick the kid, and then I was, you know what, let me just do it anyway. Just wanna keep the tradition going, so. All right, let's go do it. All right, ooh, where am I hiding? I already told you where I was hiding, not a big deal. Psych! <laughs> I was hiding behind the mom, actually. All right, let's go to the castle. Oh yeah, to rate this one, golly, I wanna give it a nine, but you know what, I'll give it an 8.5. It is kind of scary. I wouldn't wanna be out here at night. I really wouldn't. This is the only one that I would be scared of at night. I mean, I wouldn't be scared. I'm, a, I'm tough, I'm not a baby. <laughs> I wouldn't even be scared at all, dude, shut up. So after I had stopped at all of the statues along the Enchanted Highway, I finally made it to Regent. And to my surprise, there was one last little bonus thing waiting for me there. Welcome to Regent. Enchanted Highway, all right, okay. It's just a tiny little town, there's nothing here. What is it? Okay, wait, there's one, there's one last stop. What is this? To watch Whirly Gigs turn on here. Is this really gonna do something? Oh my, wait, what the hell? What was that? Do I have to hold it? Oh my goodness, look at that. They're all moving. This is the most hilarious thing. It's, it's like that scene from Shrek. Wow, that was worth the trip, just that. This man is a hero. <laughs> the artist who did all this? I drove all the way to the end of the road and waiting at the top of a small hill at the very edge of town was the enchanted castle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there is a dragon and a knight. What in the heck? How do I get inside? Let's just park, we'll find out. We'll figure it out as we go. The moat, the towers, 
The enormous dragon being slain by a heroic knight out on the front lawn? I simply can't get enough of this. I think this calls for a castle tour. Obviously I asked for the coolest room they had and they hooked me up with one of their suites, which just so happened to have a full on hot tub in the room. <laughs> now we're living in luxury, baby. The guy at the front desk told me there was also a hot tub in the back of the gymnasium. And I was like, what does that mean? The hotel is attached to the old school building and sure as heck at the back of the old gymnasium, I think there was a hot tub back there. <laughs> this dark, scary gymnasium. I was not gonna go in there, but you know, if you're into that, Tub it up. Anyway, I think it's time for a room tour. I got one of the suites, so there's two beds. I'm only one man, so I don't need both, but they're here in case I need it, both beds. We got a little dimmer switch here. Look at the fancy. Look at the fancy, okay. They've got robes and uh, you know, these slippers. I don't feel comfortable putting these on. This is the bathroom. Um, I guess you could poop in here. There's a little chest for the soap. Thought that was kind of cool. A little kitchenette. There's a spider in the sink. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, that solidifies it, I think. Against my better judgment, I am gonna finish the tour. <laughs> Fridge. Microwave. Little coffee maker. Where'd the spider go? Oh. Fuck. So you know how all day I've been doing that thing where I've been like hiding behind something and then having you guess where I am? Uh, I had the intention of doing this bit where I was gonna set up a shot like this and then be like, oh, where am I? W where am I hiding? And then I was gonna come out from underneath the water in the hot tub. Uh, there is absolutely no way I'm getting in this tub. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna stay. After spending a little bit of time in the room and really taking a good look around, I was having second thoughts about spending the night there. I mean, it's a motel. It's not like I was expecting to be staying at the Ritz Carlton by any means, but it just didn't really feel quite worth it to actually spend the night there. I had seen what I wanted to see. I got the footage that I wanted. And I also missed the Excalibur Steakhouse dinner um, and there was no other food. I had not eaten all day. <laughs> all I had was a cheeseburger for breakfast and a couple of snacks in the car. Plus, and probably the most important factor, the thing that I was worried about at the beginning was very much so coming true. Um, I, I may get a little homesick. So I decided to pack up all my stuff and head back home, but not before saying one last sunset goodbye to the Enchanted Highway. It's true. going down and there's such a pretty sunset back there. I want to get this shot. Most of them drunkards know I live in it. But darling, now you're leaving too. And there's nobody here to me and me. And we'll be gone pretty soon. This may come as a surprise, but I work 
really hard. <laughs> my job is a ton of fun, but I spend so many more hours than you would probably believe working on videos. So when it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm 19 hours deep into an edit and I haven't left my basement in days, my mind starts to long for an escape. And like many others, my vision of an escape tends to be something like a tropical vacation or a trip to some resort or a Vegas getaway. But there is so much beauty and wonder right under our noses if we just look for it. I hit a hole in one at a golf course in Enderlin, North Dakota last weekend for goodness sake. I haven't felt a high like that on any beach I've ever been to in my life, but I felt it right here at home. I want to keep exploring and sharing my neck of the woods with you guys because I'm proud of my home and I want other people to see what I see when I think about North Dakota. It's not just wheat fields and wind. It is a lot of that. I chose this background for a reason, but there's also so much more to it. And these structures on the Enchanted Highway aren't just sculptures or statues like I've been calling them this whole time. They're art that tell a wonderful, unique story that I will never get tired of hearing. The website actually says that Gary is wanting to add to the highway and make more sculptures, and I really hope that he does. One of the designs is this creepy spider situation. Not sure how I feel about that, but maybe I'll admire it from a distance. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming along with me and listening to me gush about this little North Dakota gem that we've got. I hope you all have a fantastic day and extra thank you to my patrons. Those listed here are in the top tier on there. Let's all do a meetup, a group meetup at um, the Tin family. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you this time. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Goodbye. This was a cool trip. That was a lot of fun.